This is the Brother Henry and You Show, where you can be inspired, uplifted, and edified through the Word of God. Now enjoy today's program. So delighted you took this opportunity to watch. We have Brother and Sister McKeith here from uh, Carthage, Missouri. Uh, great people of God. Have a, they have a powerful ministry going around sharing their testimony and sharing what the Lord has done for them. Uh, his wife and uh, her husband will be elaborating and talking about uh, their ministry here in a second. But I want you to know that the Lord loves you. Yeah. Uh, keep your head up. Hallelujah. Uh, the scripture says that if you delight yourself in the Lord, He will give you the desires of your heart. And before uh, we get into this interview, I'd like to say a prayer for you. Lord, I thank you for your Holy Spirit. Jesus. Thank you for your power. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your thank love, you. Lord. God, we realize that without you, we can't do nothing. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for um, strength when, when Jesus. we're weak. Jesus. And Lord, we also thank you that you show yourself strong in our yes, weaknesses. Lord. Lord, may there be someone that's watching, Lord, will be the, will be encouraged um, by this ministry and by this lovely couple. And Lord, we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you guys. And uh, this is Brother and Sister McKeith out of Carthage, Missouri. Have a powerful ministry. And, I would like for you to talk about, we talked a little bit about it a second ago, what is this ministry all about? Well, our ministry, if, if I had to sum up everything that we say and do into, in two words, I would say to encourage. Really? <clears throat> we basically encourage people. My husband had an industrial accident uh, nearly 40 years ago. How long have you been married? 47 years. What's the key? How can you stay with one woman that long? <laughs> That's not an interview. Right? Uh, um, so, I love her. Oh. <laughs> uh, we live in a day that um, perfection is so important in the world. Uh -huh. You know, if you're not perfect, if you fall short, um, you're made to feel that you're inferior. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in God's, you know, perfect plan, that's not yeah. so. I mean, Amen. we are still perfect. Amen. You yeah. know, no matter what our physical or our mental disability yeah. might be. And that's why we, we share. Um, like I said, my husband had an industrial accident, um, which required surgery, and during surgery he had a stroke. Mm -hmm. So he's basically a stroke victim. So anyone that understands family or friends that had, have had a stroke, that's exactly where he is. Uh, Larry spent two months in the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, he was totally paralyzed on his right side. Mm -hmm. uh, he couldn't read. He couldn't write. He didn't know numbers. He didn't know ABCs. Uh, now, we were a very young couple. We were, uh, I was 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Larry was 27 when he had a stroke. Mm -hmm. And we had two small children at that time. They were four and six. Mm -hmm. And um, so for young marrieds that are just starting in life, in the natural, it was almost as if our life was over. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it was like the beginning of the end uh -huh. for us. Where do you go? You know, where, where do you, you know, for all the people that have hopes and dreams, you know, of a young marriage that, um, yeah. 
sometimes you know things don't go all the way that we planned. Mm -hmm. So um, Larry spent a total of two months in the hospital mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of rehab. Um, he was totally bedridden, you know, couldn't get mm -hmm. out of bed or you know anything like that. So as we began working with him after you know three weeks, it was then that we realized that um, he didn't even know ABCs or his numbers. He mm. couldn't tell you uh, the months of the year or the days of the week, the very, very basics. In fact, at that time, our children were in kindergarten and second grade, mm -hmm. and when they brought work home from school, he didn't even understand it, mm. the very, very basics. Wow. <laughs> so, so I was God, just thinking how you sung that song a while ago. It was so beautiful. <laughs> God has given him a beautiful voice. So in other words, you're saying no matter what your disability is, yeah. don't let that be a limitation yes. Yes. to pursue what God's called you to yep. do. Mm -hmm. yep. Amen. What's the vision with you guys as ministry? What's your goal? What's your vision? Well, I'm going to make it as far as I can. To Jesus. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it important that we need to encourage one another? Paul spoke about that very a lot in the Word of God. Why is that important as a believer that we need to constantly edify people and lift people up? We all need. It kind of goes back to what you said. There's a lot yeah. of hurting people out there in the world. Yes. There are, and we all need to be encouraged. Um, and sometimes even, you know, the pastor with the largest church still can be alone, can mm -hmm. feel alone, um, that they have no mm -hmm. one that they can go to. Yeah. And um, we all need to encourage each Amen. other. Amen. It's, it's uplifting, you know, to pray and just sing. My husband loves to sing in the spirit <laughs> and just, you know, if I play piano and he, it's it's just a, a, a infilling and mm -hmm. flooding of the Holy Spirit in your life, and it refreshes you. Amen. When yeah. did you guys ministry start? When? Yeah. When did it start? When did your ministry start? Oh. Well, Larry used to, he's he's been singing since he's two years old. Hmm. His yeah. family's from North you Dakota. Saying, you saying you've been in church all your life, pretty much? No, no. I was when I was small. Oh. But then when I got big, I thought, thank you. <clears throat> you then you sing country western. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got then you got uh, got saved. Amen. With Jesus. Praise God. When did you give your life to the Lord? Oh, when I was in high school. Oh yeah. wow! How did it? How did it <clears throat> come about? Oh uh, well, we were actually raised in uh, yeah. a small assembly church in Wisconsin. And actually, I, I, I think I would have to say, uh, go back to my late grades. Mm -hmm. And so we were in, you know, church, and we'd go to Bible camp, and the wooing of the Spirit is there. And sometimes, you know, you receive, and sometimes you you back up and you wait a little while. But um, so we were both, uh, we both knew the Lord um, before yeah. we were married. Amen. How did you come in contact with Brother Larry? Well, I moved from North Dakota. Oh really? Yeah, I, my dad moved from there, and they bought a farm in, in Wisconsin. Oh. Okay. And it just happened that we went to the same church. Same little church. Went, to the, went same. to the same little church. Yeah. They, what now? How did it happen? Did she stare? Were you staring at her down? Or? No, no, actually. I was the first one uh, singing uh, the King and I. Oh. <laughs> Actually, yes, we, we, we were in a small uh, small church and his family lived north 15 miles and we lived the other direction 15 mm -hmm. miles. And I remember walking in the back door of the church and he was playing his guitar and singing, The King and I mm -hmm. Walked Down Life's Road Together. <laughs> and I said to myself, I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's how, that's how we met. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's an awesome interview. Yes. Uh, lastly, what could you say to those that uh, need encouragement? After all, this oh, is what yeah. this show, the motto of my show is to inspire, uplift, and edify the body of Christ. Right. We feel like that's not being done enough. Yes. All you hear is beating people up behind the pool, yeah. Yeah. making people feel worthless. Yeah. And we're, we're a conquerors, the yes, Bible says. Yeah. And uh, I believe that when Christ comes into our hearts, 
we should always encourage our brothers and encourage our sisters. The Bible talks about how we need to build each other up. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, there must be a building that must take place. Mm -hmm. So what could you say that would uh, encourage those right now that are watching? Just a minute, uh, we can, we can uh, when I got hurt mm -hmm. with a chain binder, mm -hmm. and uh, it took me 12 days gone. Wow. And uh, when I came back, I had was gone and seen Jesus. Oh, wow. That's encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, it makes me almost cry all this time because Jesus is always there. Amen. And I ain't that true when you get uh, when you get discouraged and when you yeah. feel like giving up, you feel like all yeah. hope is lost. Yeah, he's right there. You may feel like he's so far away. Yep, but yeah. he just he just a breath a breath. You kidding? You know, it was just uh, just about those those long, long story short. I took my car and I drove it out to a feed wheel mm -hmm. where some wheat had been already. Done, and and I started crying, mm -hmm. and I told I told them myself I said Lord I've got to be gone, mm -hmm. get me out of here, mm -hmm. and I said Jesus came again, wow. <laughs> and opened up my door and, and he says come on over here son, mm -hmm. and he says how great am I, Amen. <laughs> and I thought oh how great you are, wow. thank you Jesus and if you want to give me anything just give me my voice to sing. Amen. <laughs> and he's done that. God bless you, guys. Would you mind saying a closing prayer? God bless you. Those that are watching. Father, we thank you for thank this day. We thank you for this time uh, to be uplifted. And I pray, Father God, that you will encourage those that are viewing this uh, video, Father. Jesus. Father God, let them know that no matter what the season in their life might be, what the situation in their life might be, that you are there, that you have not forgotten them, whether you are are young and starting out or in the winter of our lives that we feel sometimes that God is no longer needing us or using us. Father, I just pray that each one will be encouraged by this uh, ministry today. Um, we thank you for it. We praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, God. God bless you. Always remember that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think according to the power of his in you. You have power in you today, right? Well, let's start using it. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh